Hey guys, it's me, uh, Fireflame608, and today we are unboxing the Skull Candy Supreme Sound 5050s. Um, this is a new edition of the 5050s. Um, I think it got launched in 2011, and this is the black one. I don't know if you can see it well or not, but well, we're getting it unboxed anyway, so you can take a look at it. Um, it's from the Supreme Sound lineup. And um, it's supposed to sound better or whatever. It's from the Decibel Collection, which is, I guess, their... Ah, uh, crap. It won't focus again. Stupid phone. Anyway. Um, it says Decibel Collection over there. Even though you guys can't see it. Sorry about that. And, yeah. Um, the Decibel Collections are probably um, just earphones. Um, which come in this new Supreme Sound lineup. And that's it. It says mic 3 over here, which is the third gen mic, um, a carry case, which we'll get into in my review, an iPod, iPod iPhone, and iPad, but you can use it for anything. So um, On this side, you've got the Skull Candy logo over here. You've got mic 3, and it says 5050 by Skull Candy. You've got your QR code, which if you scan with your Android and or iPhone device, or any phone that can read QR devices, it will take you to um, the 5050 Skull Candy web page. And it says Mic 3, which is the third gen mic. Um, what it reads is, um, if you can't make it out or anything, it says take slash make calls, volume control, play, pause, and track control, because that's what Mic 3 is. And um, a carry case. For stashing and storing, that's exactly what it does. It doesn't really protect it; it just stashes it. Um, that's it. So let's open this bad boy up, and yeah, I already split it open from here. It'll save us some time, and all. I did not open this myself, so I mean, I didn't open it before this video, unlike the Bioshock review. So yeah. Let's get this done. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. <sighs> Wait a second, guys. Okay. Probably edit that part out. But Okay. We got this plastic casing thing. Um, That's the case, which, to be honest, is not too good, but it gets the job done, and... Uh, Here's the little earphone, so it's supposed to be like this. Last time when I bought these, this was over here. We'll get into that story later, and uh, let's get this done, okay? Unboxing isn't as stylish as Beats by Dre, but whatever. From inside the care. box, you got your little manual. It's just one paper, as you can see. It's got small object warning, listening warning, limited warranty, Skull Candy's got lifetime warranty, so if there's a manufacturing defect inside the earphone, maybe the drivers are loose or something, then they'll replace it for free. Um, here's the mic, blueprint thingy. Uh, all of these are clickable buttons. This one, this one, and this one. It's got three. Um, mic operation. It's if you click once, it's um, take or make calls. If you're receiving a call, play and pause uh, to play and pause your music. Uh, next track, which is you double double click it. Um, previous track, you triple click it, and volume control, which is the plus and minus buttons over here. So control your volume, but only works on iPhone, uh, iPod, any iDevice basically. We got ear tips. This is the large one, large ear tip, and these two. Uh, of them. You got three pairs. Um, large ear tips, small ear tips, and the medium ones, which is already put on the earphone. Um, here's the uh, earphone, and it's still black, so my camera can't really pick it up. But it does not have any gloss except for this little side here. It looks like it's um, uh, what do you call it? Metal. Uh, aluminium or tin or something, but it's really not. It's just plastic. It, it sort of feels like metal, but it's plastic. I know. <laughs> and um, that's it. Um, here's the inline mic. 
which is right here. It's nice buttons, which you've seen over here. They look around the same, don't you think? It clicks nicely, nicely, nicely. It's pretty nice clickable buttons. And um, you've got a jack. The jack's always the most important part for me because it shouldn't break. Here's the jack. It's gold plated, 3.5 millimeter. It's pretty nice, actually. Um, it's got a nice gold candy logo on it. If only my camera focuses against. Yeah, it just refuses to focus. I'm just getting used to this focusing thing, but um, it still won't want to focus. Yes, it's the closest I can get to the focus. And um, here it is. Uh, it's gold plated on uh, 3.5. Um, there is a lot of problems with this jack. It gets loose. And it basically means the whole earphone's useless. And it's honestly not that good of a jack. Then, um, you got a case. This metalish case. Um, I would say it's okay, but it's loose as hell. Even if I tighten it up a bit by doing this, it still comes off. Ow. That was pretty loud. And, um, this is well. It's, this is the case that they gave you. It's not too good, but it gets the job done. It's, um, right there. And it picks up fingerprints a bit. Not too much, a bit. And it picks up dust, as you can see up there. And up here. And uh, that's about it. That's what comes in the box. That's the unboxing. And hope you enjoyed. And these are nice earphones. Don't get me wrong, but... They've got a lot of pros and cons, so watch out for my review. And this is me, Flame, and I'm out. Peace.